VH1's Sunday Brunch, Sunday Over Easy. And now time for the medical portion of our show. How you doing, people? I'm Bobby Rivers. Now, the man behind the newspaper, pay no attention to the man behind the newspaper, uh, uh, has sort of a, well, he's had some medical leanings because he has appeared on Medical Center, uh, Mission Impossible, That Girl, the FBI, Marcus, uh, Welby. Marcus Welby, MD, uh, the Mod Squad, and of course, the Brady Bunch, Barry Williams, Greg Brady in the flesh. And he brought us some medical news. Didn't he, crew? We didn't know this. Yep. That Kathy Lee Gifford, hostess with the mostess of Live with Regis and Kathy Lee, on gave Thursday. birth on to, Thursday. to a baby Regis. On Thursday. Now, I, it's not tr no truth to the rumor that I was there assisting. <laughs> All I did was watch the show, and it was announced. It was announced. So she had. The, now she's got the two dogs, Chablis and Chardonnay. Now the baby's name is Moe. What is I the? Think so. Is I it? I, I think know. so. I don't okay, know. We don't know. I, we don't I, know. Is this why you have a picture? This is picture? Uh, yes, because I just love her. You have Kathy's yeah. picture over there, but I don't see any Barry she, Williams she pictures. She got the. No. Lot. She got the Lifetime Soul Train Achievement Award a couple of weeks ago. Oh, really? But well, we're working on putting one of your photos up there you very are? soon. We really are. Well, well I, listen, speaking of pregnant women, you know, you I never go anywhere without a picture. Of what? Of me. Of you. Okay, well, do you have one on you right now? I have some of you. Oh, oh, of is course. Course. I look always at have a that. Picture. Look I at always that. I have a picture. This is, oh, look, he's got that Jody Watley mustache. Is that going there? Please? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Only my barber knows for sure. Let me show some of those videos later. I'd really like this video. Right? I mean, this how photos. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Mine's in a jar. So, speaking of pregnant <laughs> women, weren't you on a flight one time sitting next to a woman who went into labor? He said just after the show had gone on the air and it was sort of established, I was a gynecologist, uh, obstetrician, mm -hmm. and a call came over just like in the movies, is there a doctor in the house? And everyone started pointing a finger at me. But a lady had really gone into premature Which labor. Finger? Yeah. Okay, sorry. The safe finger. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she gone into premature labor. Uh, yes, yeah, she had gone into premature labor. Now, after they d got a legitimate nurse back there, I did go back and I told her. I said, I, I'm not a real doctor, but I do play one on TV. <laughs> <laughs> And she looked up, it was really nice. She looked up and she recognized me from the show and said, and she was all, she was happy and fortunately the contractions subsided. Oh, well, that's, that's good. the most important thing. Don't you hate being premature? Um, <laughs> I do. <laughs> I've read about it. <laughs> What's it like, really? <laughs> Oh, it's too soon to tell. Yes. Uh, listen. <laughs> gonna, gonna get an ink. <laughs> you, you've, done, you've done Pippin. Sunday morning. Uh, yes. You were in Pippin and a romance, romance on Broadway. Who are you telling me? Oh, you're you, telling oh, I, I know these things. I was in Pippin, romance, romance. Okay. I did now, it for like a now, half a year. For what I, for, for oh, that's you. right. I remember. <laughs> Helen now, Hayes Theater. How many years have you been acting now? Is it is like a 25 oh. years? Oh, well. Oh, boy. No, I'm sorry. I mean, my cane and my old man. But how, um, when you were a kid when you started? Very young. Okay. I started at minus four years of age. <laughs> um, no, no I'm, I, I started 20, 25, 27 years ago. I'm 35 now. Well, you, yeah, and you certainly don't look. Oh, you tune in and you'll find things you're here, don't you? So you started when, started <laughs> That's when you were a kid. that question. Now, I, I said next to you, at a, I think it was at a screening of the Gregory Hines movie, Tap. Tap. Okay, and I said next Tap. to you. Yes. And you were sitting by yourself, and some guy passed by and went, Oh, <laughs> Greg Brady! <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, and I felt so sorry for you because I thought, I do know. you ever feel like uh, going up to those people who are uh, so obsessed with the Brady Bunch and saying, "Get a life. <laughs> I'm older. You're older. You know, it's it's. There have been many years since it the Brady Bunch premiered. At that at that particular opening, I uh, I didn't know that that had happened. I, I was asleep, but, but <laughs> <laughs> I try. I try, when I'm awake, and that does, and that does happen. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes, I only mind if people are rude. That's the only okay. thing that like bugs me. You know, if they come or this, if they do this, they go, they tap me. I, I, I want to break fingers. But no, uh, most people are so nice and they're pleasant. And then I tell them, hey, get a life, please, leave me alone. Who needs this? So I'm not 16. Neither are you. It's funny what 20 years does for you. What? I'm supposed to be a, a teenager my whole life? Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what? Now, do t do TV producers think of you as something other than? Uh, Greg Brady, for instance. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, I think yeah, I like, like a Kathleen Turner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got an accent. <laughs> oh, yeah. This works. This works. <laughs> I'd like it better if she was doing it. <laughs> Barry you Williams know, is a cat on a, a hot tin roof. Whoa. <laughs> but but you know, like a Scott Bakula. Now he he did Romance Romance first on Broadway. Then you took his place. Now he's doing Quantum Leap on NBC. And I'm unemployed. Thanks, so, Bobby, for mentioning it. Just, just trying to bring no. that up. Uh, so what are you? What do you, you mean you're what unemployed? Are you what are you saying? No, we've got. Okay, we're okay. doing the Brady's again. Okay. I have spent my entire career 
after the Brady Bunch, getting away from the Brady Bunch. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Won't they finally end good? up on the Bradys? <laughs> but wouldn't you really like to play a psychotic? Would I? <laughs> well, not right now. We've got Dwight Yoakam doing Little Sister. Yeah!